How to knit the Lazy Lynx Stitch English style For this tutorial you will need a pair of knitting needles and a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor Mountain Meadow Wool for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their Laramie line in the color Fern. For this stitch you'll need to know the following techniques. Knit, purl, cluster 6, which is a special abbreviation we will cover in this tutorial. To begin this stitch you must cast on in multiples of 8 plus 10. Row 1. Beginning on the right side of our work we're going to purl 2. Then we're going to start our repeat by knitting two. And we'll finish our repeat by purling two. So we'll continue knitting two and purling two until the end of the row. Row two. We're going to begin by knitting two. Then we're going to start our repeat by purling two. And we'll finish our repeat by knitting two. So we're going to purl two and knit two until the end of the row. Row three. We're going to begin by purling two. Then we're going to start our repeat by doing a cluster six. So the way this will work is we're going to knit two, purl two, and knit two again. Then we're going to transfer these six stitches onto a cable needle or another double pointed needle. Okay, and we're going to hold this in front of our work. Now we're going to wrap the yarn two times counterclockwise around these stitches. Okay, so just in case you're not sure which way is counterclockwise, this is the way the clock goes, and this is the opposite, so this would be counter. So we're going to just wrap this around and we're going to pull these in tight one and two and then we're going to slip those stitches back onto our working needle all right and then we'll continue our repeat by purling two. So we're going to repeat this sequence all the way across until the end of the row. Row four. We're going to begin by knitting two. Then we're going to start our repeat by purling two. And we'll finish our repeat by knitting two. So we'll continue purling two and knitting two until the end of the row. Row five. We're going to repeat row one. So we'll begin by purling two. Then we'll start our repeat by knitting two. And we'll finish our repeat by purling two. So continue knitting two and purling two until the end of the row. Row six. We're going to repeat row two, so we'll begin by knitting two. Then we'll start our repeat by purling two. And we'll finish our repeat by knitting two. So we'll continue purling two and knitting two until the end of the row. Row seven, we're going to begin by purling two. 
then we're going to knit two and purl two again. Next we're going to do our cluster six, so we'll knit two. This will begin our repeat as well. Purl two. And then knit two again. Okay, then we're gonna take our cable needle here and slip these last six stitches back onto the cable needle. And then we're gonna wrap the yarn around these six stitches two times counterclockwise. So one and two, and you can pull these a little bit tight. I wouldn't cinch them too tight. Whatever you do, make sure that you're having it about the same width on all of them though. Okay, once we've wrapped it around two times, we're gonna place these back onto our working needle. All right, we're gonna finish up our repeat by purling two. So we'll continue repeating this sequence until we reach the last four stitches in our row. And when we reach the last four stitches in our row, we're going to knit two and then purl two. Row eight. We're gonna repeat row two again, so we'll begin by knitting two. Then we'll start our repeat by purling two. And we'll finish up our repeat by knitting two. So we'll continue purling two and knitting two until the end of the row. Repeat rows one through eight until you've reached your desired length. And that's how you knit the Lazy Link Stitch. After a few repeats, your pattern should look like this. Want more news today? Join our VIP email list to get every stitch directly to your inbox. Sign up today at newstitchaday.com VIP.